Hi everyone, it's Miss Cramp, and I have another book for us to read together. This is called Nina, jazz legend and civil rights activist Nina Simone. I'm really excited to share her story with you. Hey my child, sweet, sweet child. You are having a hard time falling asleep tonight, so listen to my story. It starts like stories often do, with a baby wrapped in a white sheet and her mother smiling at her. This little baby was black. This little baby was me. That's Nina. I don't remember that, of course. My first childhood memory came a little bit later. I must have been about three years old. I thought the piano looked like there were 52 white teeth and 36 black teeth trapped in a keyboard. The black keys were smaller. The white keys are whole notes and the black keys are flats or half notes, my teacher explained. I asked why. Because that's just the way it is. Yes, that was the way it was. White was whole, black was half. It was that way everywhere and for everyone. I could have held it against people, or worse, I could have believed it was worth, I was worth less than other people. Black people were nothing but half notes on a huge ivory keyboard. But no, I did not agree with this. The notes had to mingle and dance together in the air so that these lies would disappear. Music has no color. In music, there is only one rhythm, only one heart. Ba-boom, ba-boom. One heartbeat per second, the same rhythm for everyone. Standing on the bus with my eyes closed, I reminded myself of this. The years went by. I played Mozart, Liszt, Beethoven, Chopin, Debussy. I played all the important men in powdered wigs from past centuries. I was talented and people told me so. When I was 12 years old, our church asked me to give a performance. My mom sewed a beautiful white dress with pleats and pretty rhythm, uh, ribbons. God knows she was proud. Her daughter was giving a concert. My mom, my sweet mom, she sat there in the front row with her radiant smile. Then white people arrived and she had to get up. I squeezed my eyes tight so I could listen to my dreams dance in the air, but there was nothing, nothing except silence and injustice. So I refused right there in front of black and white people. I didn't care. The only noise was my heart beating, and it was beating for my mother. It was her right to be in the front row. So mom sat back down. She wasn't smiling anymore, and her fingers were trembling with anger. But the concert was beautiful. Hey child, my sweet child. Later, much later, in fact, you were already born. Nina's talking to her daughter. A man arrived on the TV screens, on our radios, and in our newspapers, and he said, I have a dream. Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream. He believed in it, and people followed him. Martin's dream was a symphony. Black and white people could come together in a big dance of life. Hey child, my sweet child, sometimes it seems as if that dream came true. But the dream is fat, fragile and you have to take care of it. Dream, my baby, dream until you spread your wings.